so waveform synthesis is the method by which we are synthesizing a given waveform and expressing it in terms of unit step and unit ramp signals these unit step and unit ramp signals are time displaced because the waveform is changing its course at different different time what is waveform synthesis any periodic or aperiodic waveform can be expressed as a combination of unit step and unit ramp provided the waveform is non sinusoidal and constructed with straight lines this is known as waveform synthesis so basically one thing should be clear aur is par questions bhi aate hain ki waveform synthesis jab kabhi bhi karna hai to non sinusoidal waveforms ka karna hai sinusoidal waveforms ka kis tarah se hum karenge analysis synthesis वो हम बाद में डील करेंगे अभी हम ए पीरियोडिक या पीरियोडिक सच वे फॉर्म्स जिसमें स्ट्रेट लाइन से कंस्ट्रक्टेड है एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल दीज थ्री वे फॉर्म्स यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इन विच इट्स कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय टू स्ट्रेट लाइन्स द सेकेंड वन अगेन देर इज अ जम्प इन मैग्नीच्यूड अगेन इट गोज डाउन एंड बिकम्स जीरो अगेन एंड दर्ड वन इज ए पीरियोडिक वे फॉर्म इट इज नोन एज ए ट्रैंगुलर they form so let us take these three cases first understand what is waveform synthesis this waveform is constructed from one ramp signal and after this ramp signal at time t is equal to capital t there is another ramp which neutralizes those values which are above this uh, level of 1 such that when those two waveforms are combined together you get the required wave form here there is a unit step which is existing throughout on to this unit step there is a displaced unit step of one magnitude such that from one it jumps to two which goes on and moves for all time so ut plus of ut minus 5 after that the magnitude has to become zero from 2 to 0 from 2 to 0 therefore there will be another step signal which will be of two units in the negative direction which will neutralize this and you will get the resulting waveform similarly here there is a ramp again there is a slope another ramp which decreases it another ramp at 3 which further increases the slope another ramp at 5 which further decreases the slope and so on let's see how it is taking place in the first example the first signal is a ramp the slope of the ramp is 1 so it's a unit ramp signal after time t is equal to capital t there is another ramp of a negative one slope such that whatever values you are having for any time after capital t let us say uh, this is as t dash whatever increment has taken place from 1 to this point the same decrement you have to create here and this can be done only when the first slope is 1 then the second waveform slope is minus 1 all these values get neutralized and as a result when you add these two waveforms you obtain first a ramp and then it becomes flat because all the positive values have been neutralized by all these negative values this signal is known as r of t and this signal is known as because it's a shifted signal and it is a magnitude reverse as well so whenever you have a magnitude reverse signal for example if the waveform would have been here it would have been known as minus of rt but now it is shifted by capital t so this waveform will be known as minus of r of t minus capital t so the answer to this example 1 becomes r of t minus r of t minus t 
Now let's come to the second example. It's a relatively simpler. First, what we are doing, there is a change in magnitude from 0 to 1. Here, change in magnitude from 0 to 1. So there is a unit step signal which goes on moving for all time. At t is equal to 5, there is a jump from 1 to 2. This change, 1 to 2, is shown here at t is equal to 5 from 0 to 1 such that when you add on to this, the resulting waveform mounts over here and becomes like this. So if you add these two waveforms, it will become something like this, here, 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 and this will go on. After that, this portion which is going on for all time greater than 10 has to be brought down to 0. For which, at t is equal to 10, at t is equal to 10, we subtract. In other words, we add a negative 2 value onto it. Such that all these values get neutralized by all these values. And the resultant is, you have this waveform which is equal to u of t plus u of t minus 5 minus twice of u t minus 10. So the answer becomes u t plus u t minus 5 minus 2 u t minus 10. Hopefully you have understood the example 1 and 2. Example 1 and 2 were for a periodic waveforms. Similarly for a periodic waveform, here we have a ramp signal. So slope is equal to 1 represented by RT. At T is equal to 1, the slope suddenly changes from 1 to minus 1. So what should be added to 1 so that it becomes minus 1, minus 2. So here, so here the slope is minus of 2. And the waveform can be expressed as minus of 2 R of T minus 1. Is there a change at T is equal to 2? Does the slope change? No. Where does the slope change? At T is equal to 3. How much does the slope change? From minus 1 to plus 1. So there is a net change of plus 2 slope. So at T is equal to 3, the slope of the line will pertain to M is equal to 2. And the waveform will be known as twice of R of T minus 3. Similarly, this becomes slope minus 2. And the waveform becomes minus of 2 R of T minus 5. And so on. So for a periodic waveform, later on we will see how for one single period, fundamental period, we can express the waveform and then continue it further. Right now I am showing you how to represent this waveform which is equal to RT minus 2 RT minus 1 plus 2 RT minus 3 minus 2 RT minus 5 and so on. Next will be plus 2 mm, slope, next will be minus 2 and so on dot dot dot. So we were doing waveform synthesis. There are three rules of waveform synthesis. Without telling the rules, I gave you three examples. The first one in which there were two ramps. The second one in which there were three step signals. And the third one in, in which there were infinite number of ramp signals added one over the other. So now let us see which rules have been used while synthesizing the waveforms. Rule number one. Whenever there is a sudden change in magnitude, rather, sudden change in magnitude, a step signal exists at that time, the magnitude of which is equal to the difference in final magnitude and initial magnitude. Jab kabhi bhi humare paas magnitude mein change aayega, to waha humare ko ek step signal exist karega, Jiska value 
डिफरेंस ऑफ फाइनल एंड इनिशियल वैल्यू के बराबर होगी जो हम लोगों ने क्वेश्चन किया था वो कुछ इस किस्म से था आपने देखा कि एक टी इजल टू जीरो पर चेंज हो रहा है मैग्नीट्यूड एक टी इजल टू वन पर चेंज हो रहा है मैग्नीट्यूड और एक टी इजल टू टू पर चेंज हो रहा है मैग्नीट्यूड तो हमारे पास दो सिग्नल थे जिन्होंने पॉजिटिव यू टी प्लस ऑफ यू ऑफ टी माइनस वन करके यहां तक बनाया उसके बाद एक नेगेटिव सिग्नल था टू यूनिट्स का एट टी इज इक्वल टू टू एंड वी गॉट दिस वे फॉर दिस वॉज एग्जाम्पल वन विच वी एट सेकेंड वेन एवर देर इज ए सडन चेंज इन स्लोप एट टाइम टी इज इक्वल टू टॉ देर एग्जिस्ट ए रैम सिग्नल Having slope equal to the difference of slopes after t is equal to tau and before t is equal to capital tau, in which we saw in the first example, there is a change in slope from zero. Two one. How is the slope one? Y two minus y one divided by x two minus x one gives you one minus a zero divided by one minus zero. There is one. From one, the slope then became zero. So first signal was a ramp. Second signal was another ramp at t is equal to one. And when these two ramps were added. we obtained the required signal this was in the example 1 and third is when both magnitude and slope are changing simultaneously there exists both step signal and ramp signal which we will discuss in the next slide